Hello Crazy Talk users and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 tutorial where we're going to teach you how to create your own custom puppeteering through layering. So the first thing we need is that where we need to first choose an actor which we already did and then we need to add an audio file which we did if we open the timeline at the bottom you can see the audio track down here and if I expand this further you can even see the lip sync track that we generated from that audio. So the first thing I recommend when you want to create a custom puppeteering, um, the first thing is to listen to the audio and imagine a story. You need to, to imagine what kind of expressions you want the character to, to perform. What kind of message do you want the character to convey? So let's listen to this, out, to this audio quickly and let's imagine what kind of expressions we can expect from her. Oh, wow, that's so interesting. Please do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. I've never been this intrigued. <laughs> okay, so straight off the bat, I feel, I feel that I would like to see this character um, I, I, I would like to see this character as uh, perform as if she is being sarcastic. She, I want her to, 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 to act as if she's interested in the Higgs boson theory, but she's just trying to be nice. So we're going to try to make her sarcastic. And the first thing we need to do is we're going to go up to the puppet panel. We're going to open this up. And inside, you can see that we have up to seven face profiles which we can toggle with the uh, number keys one through seven once we are, we are uh, previewing. Additionally, we can also control the full face controls inside. Okay, all of these, uh, the, the, the face profiles and the face controls are designed to control specific facial muscles. So I don't want to choose a profile. I want to create, I want to choose my own facial muscles and I want to create my own animation from scratch. So this is how I do it. Basically, I start off by clearing the puppet and making sure nothing is, uh, is highlighted, okay? Then I start off by first creating a basic head movement. So I choose head movement here and I can click on preview and spacebar and then I can start previewing my head, okay? So I will record this and we will generate the, the first motion clip at the bottom. Oh, wow, that's so interesting. Please do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. I've never been this intrigued. <laughs> okay, great. So as you can see at the bottom, we already generated our first motion clip. And if I pl press stop and I play this back, you can see the motion clip being played. Oh, wow, that's so interesting. Okay, so that's just the basic head movement. Now, we're going to continue, and this time I will clear the puppet, and I will choose these uh, specific facial um, expressions, fa facial features that I want to control. I, I would like to show you one thing also. You see this button here, the advanced setting. With this panel here, you can actually choose to give specific weights for specific facial uh, features. So for example, if I have highlighted here, uh, blink right eye, the weight is at 100. But I can go in and I can drop this to 50, to 20, 25, 27, whatever I choose to. So you have the freedom to assigning specific weights to each uh, facial feature if you choose to. So let me close this up and um, again, reset and I will choose eyebrows and the eyelids, okay? And one important thing, when you are layering, when you're creating your own, um, your own custom puppeteering and you're layering one animation on top of the other, you need to make sure that you have this option selected. This is called the blend data on next recording. So this is important because if I have this off and I create an animation right now, this will replace the initial head movement that we first created. But if I have this option on, then I will maintain that head movement and I will layer that, uh, that facial expression on top of that puppeteering clip 
and I will blend it as one. Okay, so take note of that. So let's go to preview and let's see what it looks like. Yes, I like that. Notice that since I selected the eyelids, I can control the tempo of, of, of her blinking. I can also do this by pressing the button, uh, by clicking my mouse, okay? So I can click my mouse here and I could make her eyes blink or I can use my mouse up and down to control the eyelids. So let's do this. Record. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Please do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. I've never been this intrigued. <laughs> okay, perfect. I really like that. So I can play this back quickly. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Wonderful. So I will go back. I will clear my puppet. And this time, I will choose the eyeballs. And I can preview. Left, right. Okay. Up and down. So let's record my eyeball movements now. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Please do tell me more about this Higgs boson theory. I've never been this intrigued. <laughs> Beautiful. I like that very much. Okay, so I think we're almost done. Uh, one last thing I would like to show you is that Sometimes you notice that her, her, fa her, her mouth, the, the tempo of her mouth when she is saying something, maybe it's too slow or, or it's too subtle. So you would want to enhance that. So for example, when she says here, oh wow, you will notice that her mouth is not opening properly. Oh wow. Okay, so there's two ways we can fix, fix this. Let me go in and I can, if I play this back here, I can see that this is the lip sync that is controlling that wow. So I can play this back. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I can I can correct this by either um, choosing the correct lip sync in here or just creating my own. So here I have this IH lip sync. I will double click on this. I will choose the A lip sync and I will increase the expressiveness. Okay. Then I will move this none to the right. Let's play this back. Wow. Okay, that works. Okay, not bad. So this is one way to, to correct this. Another way is to generate your own puppeteering and by controlling the jawbone with the, the puppeteering panel. So let me undo this. Go to the start. Okay, right about there. And this time I will open the face puppet and I will unselect everything and just choose the jawbone preview. Okay, wow. So let me record this right now. Let me go back and blend on next data, yes. Oh, wow, that's so interesting. Great, so if I play this back. Oh, wow, that's so interesting. And there you go. That's how easy it is to correct uh, animations and expressions with a face puppet. In the end, once I finish with my entire animation clip, I can save this too. Just go to your motion clip in the content manager, select your custom puppet clip, add this, and you are free to use this in the future. Custom puppeteering. Okay. And then you can slowly start building your own custom animations in your content manager. So thank you for watching this Crazy Talk 7 tutorial and please stay tuned for new ones.